Hello and welcome to this Blender Low Poly tutorial. This is actually part of a longer series, so if you haven't watched the previous episodes, you may want to have a look at those first. Let's continue where we left off. So on this character I had one more subdivision of detail, both along the arms. So I had one vertex line here and one line here. So let's add that now. I think it's a good point since I've just saved. Actually, I'm going to prep by saving two as well. So any subsequent saves from now, I'll put into a new file. And then to, to get the add layer of detail, I click on edge select here, and then I press control R to uh, subdivide. And here's another subdivision I like to do for the arm to get detail is as I like this one, control R. So I get detail here. And now I can start shaping the body a little bit more so I can bring these out to make this chest a bit rounder, make the groin area a bit smaller. Shift I use to multiple select and then click on the axis to move. And we can move these in. Since we've got this extra line here now, we can move this one in safely without doing too much damage. Let's do the waist A to deselect, control to lasso select. S to scale, Y to scale along the Y axis. Click, right click, shift, right click to select two, scale, Y axis. Scale, Y. I'm going to be bringing these out now to make the arms a bit more shaped. This one I'm not happy with, and I have to figure out why that is. Hard to rotate a bit. G to move. Control. Lasso select. Feels like I should add a line here, but I don't want to go into a triangle. I've, I'm still working with quads everywhere. And I prefer not to use, you break the ability to do uh, a subdivide if you start making triangles. So I try to avoid that as much as possible. So let's see, what did I do here? I did have a line that goes here, which worked a bit better. Okay, I might have to do this anyway. Let's save first. K to cut, I, cr I click now. And we'll do a knife cut here. And I can move these out. Ideally, I don't want to have a triangle here, but I might end up having to have one for this character. 
and I probably need to do the same here on the back. So I'll do K to cut. Now I can reshape these a little bit. Control key to lasso. And then I click A to deselect. Here when it disappears, I click the A key. Okay, I'll have to go for that shape here, even though I added a triangle, I'll have to live with it. I don't need to subdivide this particular character anymore anyway, so I guess it should be all right now. Okay, now we need to look at the reference image. I don't know why I printed it, because I still scroll in here to look. So they have a often a chain mail that goes halfway. So we'll try to do something similar and a belt and then something that stretches down a little bit over the legs probably. Some sort of a cape and then boot wise they tend to have some just big leather boots. I'll do something similar to the other one. Just a bit more. Control S, save, yes. Okay, let's start with the chain mail that goes down to the upper part of the legs and then also halfway here around the sleeve. So let's figure out a way to do this. Let's double check that the recording software is actually running. Yep. Okay, so we want to have the chain mail needs to go to the elbow roughly. Actually, I should still do the deformation zones and add some details to the legs first. So to get the arm to bend nicely, well, I don't know if this is the best way to do it, but I've noticed that if I scale this one first, scale Y, scale Y, let's make the arms a little bit scale Y. Okay, so to get the deformation a bit better, uh, if I were to add a bone here and bend it, it's going to squash this elbow joint. Uh, so what I do is I press Control R when I've selected this edge, click and then slide it in a bit to there. And do the same on this side, select Control R click and then I don't really need the extra detail mesh on the inside of the arm but I do on, need them on the elbow so then what I do is I select this vertex and press the G control uh, G to grab it and then I hold control key and, and I snap it to this vertex and it's really important here that you have vertex selected at snap element and not the default increment here Select the next vertex, edit, press G, hold the control key, snap it. And do the same for these. So G, control, snap. Select G, hold the control key, click to snap. So now I've got the extra detail on the elbow that I need. Uh, so I need to, these are still double vertices here and it's an easy way to get rid of those and then just press the a key twice once to deselect and I want to select a full mesh. Press space and then type remove doubles. Enter. And now it's removed six vertices. So anything that's within a, uh, a merge distance is now gone. So that makes it into a nice mesh. So I'll move this out slightly again. 
So now I've got a good... Uh, uh, when I bend the elbow now, uh, it's going to separate these vertices just a little bit and not squash the arm as much. So it should work. Um, and then I also want to do here is um, to make it easier for the rigging later on. Instead of having a perfectly straight arm, uh, there's, it's a good idea to implement uh, or add a little slight bend to it. First, I'm going to shrink this hand a little bit. Like that. So you want to have a little slight bend to the arm now. So if I select all of these, press R to rotate, G to move. So now when I rig the skeleton, it knows that it's going to be bending the elbow this way. And I'm going to be doing the same for the legs. So let's add the extra details here for the legs first. This is probably a good time to add control S to save. Um, some more details to the legs here as well. So I click on the edge, click on the knee, control R to do an edge cut. And then when you slide it, like if you press escape here, it'll snap it back to the original. And then now I can select, hold the shift key and select a few of these and move them out. And I can also do the same to move these back a little bit to make it the legs a little bit rounder. Hold the shift key to select multiple. There we go, make slightly rounder legs. And then let's do the detail for the knee the same way that we did the elbow here. So three to see the side view. Control R. Actually escape, let's select one. Control R, click, move it up to there. Click this one. Control R, slide it down to there. R to rotate a little bit. R G to move, Control snap, select G. Hold the control key, snap, right click to select, G, hold, so, and remove the bolts, and then do a slight dent to the knee. Maybe we add some definition here, let's try this, scale this down. See how I did my old character. Yeah, it narrows it down a little bit at the neck, the legs. Let's move these in. And then slightly longer legs. B to box select I use. Control S to save. Okay, so now we've got the extra bit of detail there that was needed for the legs. Thanks a lot for watching. I hope you liked this video and if you did, please give it a thumbs up and also consider subscribing to my channel for future videos that I make. You can click to your right to watch the next episode in this series or you can click on the left to watch the previous video.